We'll start with a circle. Create a grid cloner using the circle. Let's set the dimensions to 4x4. Let's turn it all to 3D layers. Uncheck link rotation on the grid and then rotate its orientation 270 degrees to face the camera. Let's check transform auto orient at camera for the circles. This will make sure that the circles always look at the camera properly. Now let's copy paste this grid controller three times. Once we have this set up, let's link these grid controllers to a single grid controller. And then duplicate the circles and then relink them to the new grid controller. Our timeline's a bit confusing now. We have too many grid controllers and too many layers. Let's use the organize button to recolor them. Much better. Now let's go to the main grid controller and uncheck link rotation. Let's also switch pin Y to bottom. Finally, let's add a null and parent all the layers to it. We can animate this all with just a few keyframes. Let's add a basic looped animation to scale and Y rotation. Looks good, but a little too rigid. If we go to delay for all the cloners, we can check enable delay on all the grids and set the value to something like 0.25 seconds. Now the animation is offset in a much more interesting manner. You can adjust the setup to have more layers. One cool trick is that you can simulate depth by adding a field that affects the color of the circles the further away they are from the camera. To do this, all you need to do is create a field and then rotate it in 3D space. You can also add smears using presets such as Schmear from Battleaxe or Smear Ball which you can download from my Gumroad.